and down, stop the wars. We go out to drugs, the war, the, the war on drugs ends right here, it ends with me. It ends with me. I mean New Yorkers. How you guys doing? My name is Marcus Conti. I'm running for the United States Senate. Can I get you right? Hi. Right. How are you? You New Yorker? You guys from New York? Ah, how are you guys doing? I'll be. Marcus Conti. Running for the United States Senate. How are you? Hey, it's April, right? You guys think you're going to get a green new deal out of the current politicians? You ain't getting shit. You're not getting shit. Exxon Mobil's getting all the money. You're not getting no, you're not getting no solar panels and, and wind turbines. Oh, you're going to get some wind turbines and, and solar panels on the roofs? Hell no, you ain't getting any of that shit. You know why? Because they're stealing the money. They, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. you got to stop the social issues. Oh, what bathroom you're going to use, what pink pussy hat. It's not about that. It's about the money. They're stealing the goddamn money. Right? You want a green new deal? You want solar panels, you want wind turbines, you want to, you, you want to get rid of the, 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 the hole in the ozone, you got to shut down the oligarchy, the, 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 the oil companies that are, that, are, that are holding it in place. That's how you do it. How do you do it? You tax them, 80%. Actually, I'm more than 80%. How you doing, mate? You're going to work know, for me? My name is Marcus Coffey. I'm running on Bernie Sanders' platform. Remember Bernie Sanders? He came to New York. You remember that? Oh, it's so sweet. Right, what they did in, they stuck a knife in his back. They stuck a knife in Bernie's back, they came to New York, cropped out, got the cross politicians. They said, fuck you, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie, oh, you got all these young people. Ah, young people, they want a green new deal, free college tuition, ah, universal health care, you remember that shit? You remember that shit? What's up? You got a question? Yeah. Oh, question. Uh, yeah. Did I suppose you want? Who knows all drugs? Why not? Why not? They're already legal. They're already legal. Big Pharma. It's just that there's nothing like drug dealers. They're Big Pharma. It's pharmaceutical companies selling you the opioid. The opioid how, you, you answer me a question. How is it that 700 pounds of heroin ends up in, 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 a, in a bedroom in Harlem? How does that happen? Is this by, is this somebody, what, they, they took it to the airport and, you know, held it up, they taped it on their body or up their ass? No. No it's an inside how, job. It's no an inside idea. job. I have no idea how they got there, but the thing is right. like, you can't make all drugs legalized because then you're talking about busy tea, Mali, crack, coke, they want the ISD make people ask you. Yeah. You take the money, stop. right, you take, look, the, 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 there's, there's two, here's the, here's the way to look at it. There's two million people in prison. I don't want to really trip on my arm. There's two million people in prison in the United States, right? Half of them are drug crimes. They're, they're pot, they're crack, they're guys. Because it's a poverty problem. It's not a it's not a drug problem, it's an economic problem. Right? So if you legalize drugs and start you know, stop the war against, you know, uh, the Second Amendment, people's right to bear arms, that's that's a constitutional right. That's not a privilege. That's not that's not like you like I'm asking the government for a favor. No, it's written in the constitution to prevent us from the very position that we're in right now, which is tyranny. Which is tyranny where politicians are stealing our money. Right? What else? Four day work week. I'm, I'm tired as hell. Five days is too much. Cut it down to four days. Four day work week. Four day work week. We're overworked. Underpaid, overworked. The biggest problem in this country is not social issues, folks. It's not, it's, it's an economic problem. All the wealth bleeds out the top. It all bleeds out the top. Corporations, they, they got, not only do they, do they not pay tax, but Trump, Cut their tax from 34% to 20%. You gave them another, a little 14% tax break on money that they don't pay anyway. Right? There's your profit. You want trickle down economics? You want trickle down economics? There's your trickle down. It's not trickling down. It's going right out the back door. Right? That's what I'm talking about. The politicians that are in place right now, Kristen Gilbert, Democrats, she's been grabbed her. She's in bed with the Clintons. Get rid of her. Chuck Schumer. Chucky Chucky, Chucky Chucky, Wall Street Chucky, right? You don't get any of this stuff. You don't get any of this stuff. Green New Deal, you want it? I'm your candidate. Again, my name is Marcus Cotty. Independent candidate, write-in candidate, independent candidate. Then you talked about a, a political revolution. That's what I'm talking about, right? 
I'm not going down to the board of elections and signing up for a fake election. Put my spend money, get signatures, all bullshit, right? They, they're looking me off. They, they would say, you get so far, and then they say, oh, yeah, get behind us. Oh, you're close. Good, good job, guys. Now, take your people and put them behind us. That's what they do, right? It's corporate Democrats. Got to get rid of these people. They're running, they're running the board in New York. Time to go. Term limits. Term limits. Senate, two years. Congress, two years. If you win, if you win, you get two more years. That's it. You can run again two years. None of this, none of this uh, shit with these guys. The Nancy Pelosi, 30 years. Come on. Time to go. Time to go. Times have changed. Keep taking the money. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. How you guys doing? Marcus Conti, I'm running for the United States Senate. You can vote for me in 2018. All you need is a pencil. All you need is a pencil and spell my name right. I have a YouTube channel. You can follow me right up to the election. I'm not going away. I'm not going away. I'm pissed off. I hope you're pissed off. Because I want those things. I want to see people get universal health care. I want a Green New Deal, but you're not getting it. Too bad. Sorry. Have a nice day. But it is the corporate tax rate, the 80%. That's how you squeeze the oligarchy. That's how you stop them. Right? You tax them, and then when you break the law, you throw them in jail. When you catch them evading tax, you take them and you throw them in jail. When the politicians take, take bribes to change the tax law so that they can steal the money, you throw them in jail too. That's how you do it. You don't throw a kid in, you know, smoking pot on the corner in jail. You throw the politicians, green politicians in jail. And you, and you shut them down. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thought you would come and show me some love. You're welcome right by me. But it's okay. It's okay. I, I understand. I understand. I understand that people like, they like the shit sandwich that they have right now. It tastes good. You know? You vote for, you vote for a Democrat or a Republican. It's like a shit sandwich. It's like a shit sandwich. Ah, like uh, I got a foul mouth. That's right. You know that? So what? So what? Uh, I got long hair and a foul mouth. I'm not going to change. I'm going to go, I'm, you know what will change? You vote for somebody like me for Senate. I don't, I, go, I don't go in there banging on the table. I flip the table over. That's what I'm talking about. You go to Senate, you give Bernie Sanders a hug, and then you flip the table over. Flip the table over. You don't take no shit from those people. It's our country. It's our country. Remember that? We have a constitution, a bill of rights. Guys are stealing elections. 2016, Democrats, they came, they came to him, and they took, they took a knife, they stuck in Bernie Sanders' back. They didn't forget about it. They say, yeah, a Green New Deal. <laughs> They're talking about a Green New Deal. It's, 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 it's crazy. You guys are crazy. Yeah, you guys, you guys are fun. You're fun. A lot of fun, but they get no Green Deal because it's all about the money. They're taking the money. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what else? You guys are in the military or you know anybody in the military? <clears throat> Tell them that I'm going to slay. I'm going to slash the military budget by 80%. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to bang on the table 80%. I'm not military. It's not about, it's about defense. We have to we spend $700 billion a year for the military and we don't have an enemy. $700 billion a year and we don't have an enemy. That's only the, the money that we know about. Right? Shit's crazy. All they're doing is stealing the money. They're, in 2008, when Obama came in, $10 trillion debt, we're up to $20 trillion. Where, where did $10 trillion go? They spent an extra $10 trillion of our money. So you want to know where the money is going? That's where it's going. People are crazy. It's an economic problem we're having in this country. We live in a wealthy nation. We live in a very wealthy nation. There's plenty of, there's plenty of opportunity in this country. It's, it's like the... That the, the, the structure of the eight or ten thousand corporations, the way it's set up, is that all the wealth bleeds out the top because they don't pay tax. They 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 they, they, they search around and find a, a country that will do the the, the the work for less. It's unregulated unregulated corruption. There's a lot more to it that I'm not touching on, but it's they, they essentially you have to tax them, and when they break the law, they can do whatever they want. I'm not going to regulate a bank. You don't want to regulate a, 
uh, uh, all these corporations, big government regulating. That's all I'm talking about. You tax them. You tax them, and when they don't pay the tax, that's our money. That's what a publicly traded company needs. It's publicly traded because it's owned by the public, right? But now, you could, because 90% of the country don't own stock anymore, you're cut out of the equation. So 10% are left to make all the decisions for you, right? It's an economic problem. It's not a social problem, right? It's not a social problem. I, I wish it was. I wish, I wish that the Democrats and all the, all the, all the fake stories about Russia, Russia, it's Russia did it. Russia stole the election. Russia didn't steal the election. Russia didn't steal the election. That was the Democrats. They got caught doing that shit. Oh yeah. They got caught. They got caught stealing the election from Bernie Sanders. Right? And when they got caught, they blame Russia. Well, yeah, call me, uh, call me, you got his hand in the cookie jar, call me Andy McCabe, oh, corrupt, corrupt FBI, running the table. Oh, corrupt FBI, running the table. Got to stop this stuff. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm running for uh, the United States Senate as a right-in candidate, independent. I don't have a D or an R next to my name. All you need is a pencil to vote for me. Is it a pompous dream? Is it unrealistic? It's as unrealistic as you want to believe it is because that's, you're just getting shit sandwiched now. You don't want to vote anymore. Fuck, no, what are you going for? You steal my election. It's already predetermined. The Democrats already declared that the elections are rigged. If you're following the DNC fraud lawsuit down in Florida, they already they go in open court and say, oh, we picked the candidate. We could smoke cigars in the back room and we picked the candidate. And our candidate was Hillary Clinton. And Ross and Schultz and the rest of them, Don Brazil, they, they drove the knife from Bernie Sanders back. And the people lost out because you know what? Now you got Trump. That's his shit sandwich right there. Ah, Trump. You got Trump now. That's, that's, some, that's his shit sandwich. That's what you get. You got social issues and you get, you get fucking Trump. Ah, dude. Mm. I voted for Joe Stein. I voted for Joe Stein. I voted for the Green New Deal. Because she was talking about it. Talking about it, stuck a knife in her back, too. Trying to, try to say she's a Russian agent. <laughs> Jim Stein, Russian agent. That's what they're trying to, that's the CNN story. Jim Stein's a Russian agent. That's funny. That's funny. Anyway, it's a social issue. It's, a, it's not a social issue. Financial issue. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm running for the United States Senate. And uh, I would I would hope that if you guys care about the country, you would start to uh, tune in and turn on. I'm, I'm on YouTube. I, I have an ongoing blog on YouTube. You can follow me. I'm not just some crazy guy out in the park talking. I know I, know I have a I have a I have an agenda. So uh, thank you very much for listening.